Alright guys, just quickly before we get into this video, just a big shout out to Ben, our animator, who uh, created a little intro for us. So, uh, yeah, big shout out to Ben. Cheers for that, mate. You're right, guys, and welcome back to a brand new match preview here on the channel. I'm James. It's been a while since I sat down to the video. I think it was last Monday we last uploaded, so uh, it's been a while. But uh, yeah, we're here today to give you back another preview coming up on the channel. This one is going to be Leeds at home, 5:30 on Sky, fourth versus fifth. Uh, winner could potentially secure a playoff spot. Not saying that it's mathematically, but hypothetically, it could potentially secure a playoff spot. I mean. Massive game for us, massive game for Leeds. There's a massive bit of a rivalry going on on Twitter as well, on social media. Red and Leeds fans been piping up to each other all throughout the season. So, uh, yeah, been a pretty, pretty big one coming into this. Um, but, yeah, I mean, key men to watch out for Leeds. I mean, who is there to watch out for? So they got a striker who scored 20 odd goals this year, well, more than 20 goals this year. Not sure. Hmm. <laughs> Obviously, no, Chris Wood is the man to watch out for for Leeds. Uh, I think Pablo Hernandez is a decent player as well. Uh, Ronald Vieira, I think, sits in DM as well. Uh, Rob Green's not the worst goalkeeper, but he does have not mistaken him. Could be something we could look to take advantage of on Saturday. But, um, yeah, going to go into uh, our team sheet then and all things like that as usual. Um, but, yeah, I mean, they were the key people to watch out for for Leeds. I think Leeds have got a decent squad at the moment. Uh, Chris Wood's looking a bit doubtful for the game. They're hoping for a late fitness test for him. So, uh, fingers crossed, Wood is going to be injured, um, you know, if Chris Wood's injured, that could do massive things for Red. And I personally think we'll pick up the victory if he's injured. Um, but yeah, going to then to the team sheet uh, in goal, obviously Al Habsi. No point explaining this one. Al Habsi, uh, in my opinion, best goalkeeper in the championship. That's my personal opinion. Uh, Alex Smith is just behind him. Kieran Westwood's just behind him. Uh, I think Kyle Darlow is um, just behind him as well. But I think he's the best goalkeeper in the championship, in my opinion. Controversial opinion. Uh, stats show it as well. Uh, Ali has been statistically, I think, the best goalkeeper in the division this year. Maybe not clean sheets wise, but saves per goal, saves per match, uh, all things like that. I'll have to see probably the better goalkeeper in a championship, in my opinion. I'm uh, going to go along with a back four in this one. Wouldn't go for a back five. Uh, personally, uh, I feel like obviously for at home, we should be going on the attack and stuff like that. So uh, going into the back four, I would go with Obita, um, McShane, Moore and Gunter, uh, yeah, pick them four across the back line. Because like, it's going to be on Sky and TV, uh, Gunter is going to perform. I mean, he likes to perform when it's on TV. Obita at left back, I feel like if we bomb down that well, left hand side for their right back, uh, I think Ailing's still suspended at this point. Uh, so that could do again massive things for Reading. Um, yeah, I'd play him at left back. Uh, and then centre backs, obviously, Moore and McShane, our best partnership at centre back. I think Blackett didn't have a bad game against Sheffield Wednesday, uh, but again, I'd rather have Paul McShane in there than Liam Moore. Going into the midfield, then I'll go for a three man midfielder. I'll go for Joey Vandenberg, I'll go for John Swift, and I would go for Danny Williams. Uh, pick them three in the midfield. Vandenberg, physical, will put his body on the line, will risk a yellow card, will risk a red card. Um, again, like I say, every single week, he's my favourite running player. Um, He's just there, he does his job, and uh, yeah, I like Vandenberg. Yeah, sometimes he can be a bit off the pace, sometimes he's a little bit slow and sluggish, but in my opinion, Vandenberg's one of the better players here at the club. Um, I mean, as well, if Wood is um, fit to play, if you stick Vandenberg on him, he's going to cause him a hassle and potentially revigorate that injury. I don't know. Um, Swift and Williams bomb them forward. I think Williams had a really, really good game against Wednesday, was one of the men of the match. Um, yeah, Williams played really well. Swift, I put him in there as well. Done all right for England under 21 for international duty. Slowly coming back to form as well. So hopefully we'll see Swift come back a little bit more into form. Going into the wingers then, I'll go with Beerens and McCleary. Uh, I think Beerens did absolutely wonderful against Sheffield Wednesday in our last fixture. Um, I really would want to see Beerens play again. He played brilliant compared to Graben. Um, my opinion, Beerens should be starting. I don't see why he's been dropped in my opinion. I think he did nothing wrong to be dropped and was wrongfully dropped. Um, so yeah, I'd happily see Beerens start again in that start at 11. And then McCleary, it's on TV. McCleary likes to perform as well when it's on TV. He likes to pop up with a goal as well when we're on TV. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed McCleary can do that. I'll play him anyway on the right wing. And then finally up front, Jan Kermigan announced his retirement today for the end of next season. Um, but yeah. That's who I'm going to do for this team sheet. Jan Kermigan opt up. Um, again, big target man, big defensive forward like Kermie. And uh, especially with Pontus Janssen at the moment, Leeds coaches and fans don't really know where he's going at the moment. They don't really know um, 
if he's going to be starting, I think it was Gary Monk said that they're going to sit down and have a discussion to see if he's going to start. I think there was a backroom problem or something like that. I'm not 100% sure though. Uh, off the bench though, who would I like to see come off? Mate, I'd like to see come and make an impact. I would say Lewis Graben, but at the moment I'm really not interested in Graben. Uh, Raquel's could potentially come off. I know he went off on uh, international duty with Latvia, so we could potentially see him involved. Um, but yeah, it just depends on really the result of the game with the substitutions, really. If we're winning, bit another holding midfielder on, put uh, Evans on or someone like that. Uh, or Oxford, bring someone on like that. If we're chasing the game, bring Mate on, bring Popper on, someone like that. So going in then to the score prediction, I'm going to go with a 2-1 win to Reading. I feel like we could just pop this game. I feel like we could just pinch it as well. Uh, I think the boys going to be up for it as well, especially after all the Leeds fans mocking Yaps down throughout the uh, season uh, about possession and stuff like that. I feel like we're going to have a lot of the ball. I feel like we're going to have a lot of domination and a lot of shots and stuff like that. I feel like personally we're going to pick up the win in this game. I mean, fingers crossed we're going to pick up the win. I mean, Leeds are no slouches. Leeds are a fantastic team at the end of the day, but I feel like our football and our style of play is decent. Um... Jan Kervigan said it best today. He said, um, Barcelona, did people say they were boring? Did they win things? No and yes. Are, Reading, are people saying Reading are boring? Yes. Have we won anything yet? No. But let's just wait on that. I mean, it's only our first season. Could potentially come out of playoff winners, potentially. Not saying we will, potentially. Um, but yeah, I mean, first goal scorers, well, I'm going to go with McCleary for that one. Uh, again, it's on Sky, so I can see McCleary picking up a goal. Uh, could also see Kermit scoring the winner. Hope Kermit scores the winner, because um, I really want to see his confidence go back up. So uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the video today, guys. Don't forget to down in the comment section below, put your team sheet. Who would you like? If you're a Leeds fan, tell me what you think the score will be, um, yeah, going into this game. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Obviously, I've been James, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys all for the Prediction League coming up soon, and then the Match Day Experience coming out on Saturday evening. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I've been James. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.